Today's video is brought to you by Bruce the Husky who doesn't give a f about his owner and just wants everything to revolve around him because he doesn't care about your flowers, your plants, your yard or anything and he's just gonna it. Yep, that's a good one right there, Bruce. That's a good one. Bruce, get back over here and say hey to the vlog. Say hey. Say hey. Stop, don't jump on me. Come on now. Hey, hey, sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While Bruce is over here terrorizing the city and things, I'm just gonna get this vlog started the right way. What's up, everybody? My name is PJ. I make Cobra videos for you guys on YouTube. And I tend to post every now and then. I have been slacking lately just because of some things going on with the Cobra. If you didn't watch last video, then you would not know about the whining sound coming from the front of the Cobra. And uh, let me insert a clip of that right now. Uh, I actually took my car to my buddy Steven's shop and he did the exact same diagnosis that I tried to do except he figured out what the problem was. It actually was a vacuum leak like you guys have been trying to tell me even though I tested out the vacuum lines by pressurizing them all with air like 30 psi from a compressor that didn't do anything. Um, he actually smoke tested it first and there was no smoke coming out of anything except for the filter but then he did crank it up and spray brake clean all around the car and he ended up figuring out that it was this sensor right here if you can see the map sensor and that is leaking i don't know how or why but i'm gonna try to fix that right now first things first i have to take it off of the car and you know check it out Hopefully I don't have to replace the whole sensor and I can just undo this and see if there's an o-ring or anything in it and Probably replace that if not then I'll just put some RTV over it and hopefully that'll fix the problem All right, so this is literally what the map sensor looks like and as you can see there is an o-ring on it but it doesn't seem to be damaged. It's just a little dirty or oily, should I say. So I'm going to just wipe this down with this little cloth that I have under here. And then I'm going to put a little bead of RTV around it. And I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. But that's just to ensure that there is a seal on it and no air should be leaking out. Uh, got it all fixed and whatnot hopefully fixed but let me crank it up and see what it sounds like now nope still here dang steven i don't know what the problem is then but i know for sure that that is the problem i don't know how to fix it i may just have to get another one i don't know i don't know he figured it out that that was the problem but I don't know. Dang, that was a huge, huge fail of mine. I know for sure that that's the problem. He diagnosed it. He sprayed the brake clean directly at it. The idle went crazy for a little bit, and I mean, I thought all I would have to do was put some, you know, gasket maker on it, but I think I'm gonna end up just ordering another one of those, uh, probably as soon as I finish recording this video. But I'm not gonna let that stop me from recording the rest of this video. I'm gonna head over to my grandma's house in Solitude and Try to get some stuff installed on the Cobra that y'all probably would like. It never fails that I gotta make a trip to the gas station every time I drive this car. Oh. Alright, so I finally made it to my grandma's house. 
and I got three boxes right here that I need to unbox for y'all as you can see I finally got my crank pulley kit and I actually am gonna be using a two pound boost uh, crank pulley and I also have a three inch alternator pulley and that should raise my boost levels a little bit aka more horsepower I do have another tune for it that I'm gonna upload soon but let me go ahead and unbox these things and get them installed on the car. I seen a video on YouTube that dude put how long, but it popped out. Oh, on what? I see people do it all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People do it all the time. I don't like, I don't, I don't think that's good at all. I'm like, man, I ain't even trying to find out. What's this car, Wood? Bunch of brave. No, it's fast. Definitely. No, it's fast. Hey, you want a sticker? Hell, man, my car. Why? Yeah, see. Metco Motorsport. It'll make you uh, have about three more horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one doing the truck. He, he, had, he had a stick of this. Big box of stickers. <laughs> Time to get it. I'm going to race everything. Man, I don't know what none of this stuff is. Instructions, though. I think this is the first thing I ever bought that came with instructions. I already took one of the bolts off of the bracket that is supposed to come off as you can see is like right here let me get it to focus it's like right here that was supposed to come off but uh first things first i need to take the belt off i actually forgot but uh there's three bolts on this bracket i need to take off and then i need to take off the big bolt in the middle of the crank pulley and i believe that's a 14 millimeter hex that I need to use so I'm about to just go ahead and work on getting that off I record a few clips for y'all just so y'all can see and I also need to try to take off the alternator pulley whenever I get a chance Ooh, I might need to get some gloves hey, I'm looking for some rims, man. Rims for what? To look at? Because you ain't gonna buy them. Got 1500 right now. Ooh! Your money long! Alright, now you can jack it up. Ooh! I don't know. I don't know what that was. Jack it up. Up. Let it down. Yeah, dog, can't it broke my thing. Uh, Paulo's already broke though, bro. Oh. All right, you guys, so it is now two days later, the day after Easter, that I am recording this now. And you can see I'm back at home because I got everything squared away yesterday, actually. I didn't really record because I was on a time crunch and I went to Mikey's house to get help from him, some insight from him. And to finish up uh, getting everything done because at my grandma's house, I ran into a small bit of problems. I kept on breaking all my tools and stuff and things just weren't going my way. It's pretty bright out here right now, so you see me squinting and that's because like all the sunlight is bouncing up off the concrete. I'm trying to find a little bit of shade that I can, but this is just about where I wrap up today's video. But let me show you guys actually what I've done to the car. Let me show you guys what I put on it. All right. As you can see, I went with the Gates green belt and this barely has any slack in it. I actually could not put it on without taking this pulley off first. So I had to take this off put the belt on and it was still tight then and then slide the pulley back on but there she is i have her installed i'm actually about to go to my buddy steven's shop so he can torque it down because i didn't have a torque wrench i just tightened it as tight as i could but i haven't driven it anywhere and i have the alternator pulley installed you can't really see it but it's a three inch alternator pulley a 2.7 inch upper pulley and now I have the two pound lower. So hopefully she's going to make some decent power. I'm going to get on a dyno soon. If you will want to see that video, then let me know in the comment section below. But as I said, this is where I'm going to end today's video. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might want to go ahead and do that. And always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching. <laughs>